Hello, welcome to this brief introduction to ExecuComp. Like the name suggests, ExecuComp provides data on executive compensation. It focuses on U.S. public companies. Date coverage is from 1992 to the present. From 1992 to 94, it covered companies from the S&P 500. From 1994 to the present, it expanded coverage to the S&P 1500. Usually, you'll find the top five highest paid executives. Occasionally, it'll go up to nine. To access ExecuComp, we have it through our The Wards platform. So I'll, just, I'll gem demonstrate a couple of searches. So first, I log in. ExecuComp is within the bundled within CompuStat. I'll click once on CompuStat here. And then here is exec, ExecuComp. There are nine different data sets that make up ExecuComp. I'll stick with the what I think is probably the more popular data set, the annual compensation. Click once on annual compensation. And then you just need to fill out four questions. First one asks for a date range. For this sample search, I'll stick with the last 10 years. So I'll click on 2010 to 2000, uh, 2021. Next, I need to enter in my company or companies. So I'll, I'll stick with a ticker search and focus on two automotive companies. First company is Ford. So I'll put in F for Ford. And the second company I'm interested is, in is GM. So I'll put in I'll put in their ticker symbol, GM. Pretty easy to remember. Next I select my variables. So here I am going to click on the executive information tab up here and select executive full name. So I'll click on that and then towards the bottom I will click on title. So I'll select those two items Scroll over a little bit here. Put, click on the compensation data tab. Here, there's quite a, a quite a number of choices to choose from. I am going to keep this search simple and just settle for total compensation. So this item here. Click once on that. So I've made three variable choices. Then the last step is to select my output format. I'm choosing just HTML and there's a submit form button. I'll click once on that. That will open up a second tab on the browser. Here it is. And it will let me know the status of my search. So it's running. And then when it's complete, you should see a link. So now it's finished, success, and here's the output file. Click once on that. And this is what the HTML format looks like. Some of these are standard default column headings, but here you can see it's listed chronologically, so beginning with 2010 and beginning with Ford. Gives me the full executive name their most recent title and the compensation which is in thousands. It also lets me know that total compensation includes in parentheses these different items salary, bonus, other annual and so on. So that was a pretty basic search. Oh by the way if I scroll down <clears throat> it'll Again, listing my second company here. So GM is listed towards the bottom. 
I'm going to close that tab and it brings us back to our original search. So let me do a, add a few more things just to give you an idea of other types of information you can get. So I'll stick with my original date. I'll stay with those, these two companies. But for variables, let me click on compensation data tab again. Let's add a couple of more things. So I'll add, I'm interested in finding out what the bonus was. So I select bonus. And let's say I'm also interested in what their salary was. So these are sort of included within the total compensation, but this will break it out a little bit more clearly. Again, I'll stick with HTML, submit the form. It brings up my second tab, lets me know uh, the status. So it looks like it's running. It's finished. I click on the output file. So now this looks similar to our first search. Gives me the company, executive name, title. But now notice it's starting to break out total compensation into things like the bonus, how much they got for bonus, how much they got for salary, and so on. So that's, get that by selecting items under this compensation data. Now, if you're new to this resource, you might find the choices available a little bit confusing. So for further help, Towards the top of this search page, there's a different choices under manuals and overviews. If I click that, and then here's the execucomp section. I'll click on this more execucomp resources. There was two items I wanted to show you. So for help with data variables, this execucomp data definitions is useful. Click once on that. And this will basically give descriptions of all the different variables that are available. So that's this item here. So that's I found useful. And the other thing, if you're new, you might also want to look at this wards overview, where it'll provide more information about um, ExecuComp. So that's a basic search of using demonstration of using ExecuComp. Remember when you're done, log out. That's on the top right hand corner of rewards. And if you do have questions, feel free to contact us here in the library and we'll be happy to try and help.